So I think this might be a, a great segue to go from reward-based crowdfunding to equity and give Ron a chance to talk about how crowdfunding can change because of the new SEC rules and how you're using it and producers like uh, Scott are using it. So maybe talk about the new rules, how they work, and how they can be applied by producers today. Great. Well, thanks, Joe. So uh, just this past summer, the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, for the first time in the last 80 years, now allows the average everyday person, in other words, not just limited to very wealthy people, to invest in privately held companies or projects. And so that is a seismic shift in the, in the finance market. And what it means here, and I thought it was a great you know, point to jump in, because the difference between what Kickstarter does and what we do is that we're equity-based. So once you accept an investment from somebody, they are now your partners and shareholders in your project. And so rather than you know, a single event, such as the, you know, the box set that's very special, it instead is an ongoing long-term relationship. And it changes the nature of the whole paradigm here. Rather than going back to the, to the fans, to your stakeholders, and saying, hey, would you like to support my project? And we'll give you a t-shirt or a box set or whatever the special edition is. Instead, what you're saying is, hey, let's do this together. And that paradigm is much more oriented to millennial thinking about people that want to feel connected to, involved, and a part of the companies they do business with, the projects they support, and so forth. So that, that thinking is much more aligned, and it allows now companies or projects to raise capital anywhere from hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. We've got uh, one uh, campaign on our platform. It's, it, these are not film projects, but there's one that has over 40 million in uh, share reservations. There's a second one at about 11 million, and a third one about uh, 3 million. And these are over the past 120 days just since this, this past June. So we're very excited about it. We think that it's great for uh, entertainment and, and film projects because it allows really to people to bring in, first of all, the hardest part, I believe, of finance is the equity side because that's usually first money in. And there's an, the reason that I'm in this business is because I believe that ability to get capital is what is the biggest inhibitor to bringing create, creative uh, innovation into the marketplace. And that hard aspects of raising that first capital becomes insurmountable for many people who have wonderful projects and wonderful ideas but just can't get them financed. Beyond that, um, I think it also brings an audience with a project. So when you're out there pitching a product, whether it's to distribution, whether it's to banks, whether it's to other stakeholders, when you're bringing an audience with the project, that is power. So for example, one of the companies has about 10,800 individual investors. And if you can think about that, to access that, if the average person has maybe 1,000 social media contacts in their phone, I think that's a massive number that can use their social media networks, can be accessed by the, the producers to essentially push the messaging out. So.